start out? You want to start? I'll start. Uh, or we can continue with the music. Welcome back, everyone, to the Weekly Flare Podcast. We're glad you joined us for the second half of the show because we have some cool stuff to talk about. So let's get right to it. Chris, you have a TV. I do. I've got a 56-inch. 57-inch? 57 56, 55. Maybe 54. I don't think they make 54. Probably 55. I'm going to remeasure. Diagonally? Yes. Probably 55. Okay. Or 60. I don't think they made weird 50 numbers. I think they only made weird ones in the 40 range. And then they were like, wait a second, this is stupid. Okay, so Chris, is your TV mounted on the wall? Yes. Is it a pain in the butt to mount? Um, I've only well, had I guess it was. It's I mean, only been up once and then yeah, it's done. Yeah, I mean, it's so, I mean, it wasn't too But drastic. you can't move it, right? It's no. there, it's done. You can't take it down if you're going to play a quick game of volleyball in the house. It'll get hit, destroyed, party over. Can't play ping pong in the house anymore. Mm-hmm. Can't play Nerf darts. Well, I can. Could you? I don't know. TVs are pretty, you know, fragile these days. Chris, I would just have a little circle. What if I told you that there was a TV that was being worked on that was a millimeter thin? That's right, a millimeter thin. Okay. Was magnetic on the back and you could just roll off the wall like a sticker. I'd say impossible. Well, LG says possible. LG. LG. My favorite TV company because that's whose TV I bought. They have a TV they're working on. It's an OLED TV that is one millimeter thick. One millimeter thin. That's really, that's not thick. That's not thick. One millimeter thin. And it's magnetic. And they said you just hang the magnetic thing on the wall. And then when you want to put the TV up, you just roll it out and stick it on the wall. Wow. So you could take it off, put a different size screen up if you want a bigger one, smaller one. Uh, if you want to take it with you somewhere. Uh, I wish it wasn't magnetic. Or I wish that the magnets were strong enough to just grab the studs in the wall so you wouldn't have True. to have the mat. Because then you really could just put it anywhere. Yeah. I wish it was like uh, a vinyl that would just like stick to the wall. And you could just roll it out on any surface. You could put it on the ceiling. But come on, they're getting somewhere with this. Oh, yeah, this is cool. It's amazing. This is way better than a curved TV. This is like a magnetic... You could hang anywhere a TV. Oh, like, yeah. you could put it in the back of your car. You could take it with you to the beach and, like, put it on the side of your van. Mm-hmm. You could take it to, like, anywhere and just hang it up wherever you could hang it. It's so cool. But anyway, so this is something they're working on. It's kind of like a prototype. Probably not going to be selling it anytime soon because it's kind of ridiculous. It's going to be a beta for a while. But uh, they said, you know, it's just part of their, their experimentation with TVs. And they're going to keep messing with it. Till they have something cool that they're gonna release. I don't really know, but it'll be something. As soon as it releases, we will put one on this back wall. We will, and we'll start putting stuff up so What's you can be also read us. Are we gonna put us back there so we they can see us? Yes. You yeah, know, just go forever into infinity. That'd be legit. That would be creepy. Okay, enough about the crazy TVs. Let's also talk about something else that we think is cool. Bluetooth headphones. You wear headphones. I do. I wear headphones. They they drive me crazy. Why is that? You know why headphones drive me crazy? Because they have cables. (laughs) Cables drive me crazy. I play guitar. I have a wireless for my guitar because the cables drive me crazy. Mm -hmm. Cables, they're everywhere. Drive me crazy. All my controllers are wireless now. I'm buying all new instruments when Rock Band comes out, so they're all wireless. Cables, everywhere. I'm done with cables. All the cables I can get out of my life, the better. So I'm trying to buy Bluetooth headphones. Okay. And I know we've talked about this like 10 million times on the show probably. Not 10 million. But we've talked about it a lot. And so there's new ones on Indiegogo called Next Year. Next Year? Next Year. One word, Next Year. They're tiny earphones that can charge your phone. And they have 16 gigabytes of storage and an LED flashlight. So they have a little case you can put them in. That serves as the battery and the flashlight and the storage, right? Yes. And these little Bluetooth earbuds, you can put them in your ears, either both of them or just one at a time. And they uh, have a sync with each other so that the music doesn't get out of sync. So that way, you know, you hear it at the same time in both ears. Mm -hmm. Because as we know, with anything that's wireless, there's a bit of a latency issue. So they basically talk to each other to make sure the music gets played at the same time. You can listen to just one so you can charge one while you're listening. Um, it has a four-hour battery life, which, I it's mean, not the best, it's not it's good, but that's good. pretty standard for all the, the Bluetooth earbuds coming out. But 
its charging station that it has actually can also charge your phone. So if you're one of those people whose phone's always dying, like you must be because your phone's always plugged in. Yes. Or like I am at work because I use my phone for everything at work because I have to. Um, yeah. So this would be great because then you could charge your phone off of it while you're listening to music. And you want to worry about your phone dying or your iPod dying or your it's very your tablet dying if it uses the same charger. It's very similar like my JBL. I've got a JBL wireless speaker, but they're not headphones. But they're not headphones. Not and headphones. you can't be sitting at work listening to music on a speaker. No. No, people don't like that. They're like, I don't listen to your music. And like me, I listen to podcasts. Yes. And people are like, I don't listen to your podcast all day. I don't listen to my music. I'm like, well, that's cool, but I'm going to listen to podcasts. Yes. Put my headphones on, listen to podcasts all day. It's great. Uh, so yeah, I want Bluetooth headphones though, because I'm just tired of cables being everywhere. Let's say how much it's going to be. Um, so right now, if you back them, you can get them for $145. Um, or you can give them $50 and get $100 off when they come out. And I believe when they come out, they're going to be approximately $263. Hmm. So you can get them for 145 now, or you can give them $50 now and get 100 off. So it would be $163. The early, early birds of $100 are all sold out. But they're pretty cool. I, I, like, I like where they're going. I'm not buying any until they're all out and battery life is actually proven. Okay. Because I don't want them to be like charging like every half an hour or something on me, you know. Well, let me ask you this: Do they make wireless the big ones that go around? Yes. Okay. They make big wireless headphones. They like you can put on your head, and those have pretty good battery life. Okay. Beats has some. Um, there's a lot of people. You have can wire them. those well though. Yeah, and they have ones that are wired. So you can like have them on, or you can have them wireless, or you can plug them in and be wired. They have wireless ones that are like wrap around your ear ones, and then like they connect in the back. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want that. I, that's still a wire to me, and if I'm going to buy a wireless headphones, I want them to be just like an earbud, like a hearing aid, basically. That's just Bluetooth. I can put it in. Uh, there's no wires. And mm -hmm. that's all going to come out sometime this year, and I will buy a pair and be so happy. I think you're absolutely right about waiting, because I think they'll have the four hour, and then I think they'll probably make them just a tad bigger, and I think they'll be able to support an eight hour. I don't, the four hour is fine because like I said, I, I work, I only wear one earbud in anyways. Mm. So I so can have one charging, switch them. I can have one charging while I'm listening to the other one. So that's not a problem for me so much. Uh, maybe when you're traveling it would be because then you're going to want both so you don't have to listen to all the noise going on mm. around you. But I'm, I'm waiting mostly just because I, I want it to be proven out and know which one's good. And then we will find out. So that's... All I had to say about that. So, Chris, so are you ready to try these lemon Oreos? I think we should before we move on, yeah. I think we should try these lemon Oreos. So, if you don't know, I found these lemon twist Oreos the other day. See these lemon twists? Um, Rachel was like, why are you buying this? And I was like, because I want to try them. So, let me ask you this. Are we going to be able to try the cotton candy and the s'mores Oreos when they come? Oh, man. I'm so excited for those s'mores Oreos. All right. We'll try them. All right. Here we go. Not bad. Very I like it. The lemon... It's not overbearing. This lemon is a very... Specific lemon flavor mm -hmm. that I've tasted in something else before. Lemon meringue pie. It's not like overbearing lemon. No. It's very mellow. It's like a lemon dessert. It's like a lemon pie, basically, but mm -hmm. with a crunchy cookie instead of yeah. a crust. I like it. I'll oh. try another one just to make sure. I thought they were going to be disgusting. No. They're good. Mm hmm. All right, so there you go. I'm happy. That's good. All right, good to know. So, I'm in Twist Oreos. I approve. I wouldn't buy them all the time, mm. but definitely not bad. S seven out of ten. There's no double stuffed original. No. Those are the best. Those are 10 out of 10. 
Ten out of ten. Hard to beat. Definitely. All right, Chris. You finally watched a pretty big movie. I did. How was The Hobbit? The Hobbit, the last Hobbit, the third the Hobbit. Battle of the Five Armies? The Battle of the Five Armies. Not the meaning? I thought it was very good. Wasn't it good? I will no say spoilers. I will it's only been out for a few months. Yes. I will say one thing. I think the beginning of the movie should have been a little bit longer with the dragon. But it was very good. Great actors. Great people. Oh, man. You connect so well if with people. The first movie was not good, let's be honest. Okay. It was long. Drawn out. It was very drawn out. I always saw the same thing with The Fellowship of the Ring. The second move, the second Hobbit movie was, it was okay. Yeah. It, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just kind of there. Um, going into this one, I expected it to be the same. I pretty much been like, okay, this, because The Hobbit book was very short. Okay. By J.R.R. Tolkien standards. And, um... I just wasn't expecting much. I was like, they've stretched this out too far already. Wow. Hobbit 3 did not disappoint. I'm glad you finally saw it. I'll be honest, I think The Lord of the Rings did the exact same thing. The first um, one was disagree. All right. disagree. Really? Fellowship of the Ring was, was slower, but it was not a bad movie. It was just slower paced. Two Towers was very good. Yes. Uh, Return of the King was my favorite. Yes, definitely. Uh, I, don't, I think I have this problem in movie trilogies, though where I like the resolution at the end because you have the, the biggest climax and then the biggest resolution. And I've, I've realized this because, like, Return of the Jedi is my favorite Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And then Return of the King is my favorite mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings. And then I realized, like, that I thought the third Hobbit was the best. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not true in everything. Like, Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park was the best, obviously. Yeah, the third one was the The original Back to the Future, for instance, was the best. Okay. But those weren't set up to be like a trilogy necessarily. No. But these movies that are set up in like uh, Indiana Jones, even The Last Crusade is my favorite. So you don't like um, Kingdom uh, of the Crystal no, Skull? No, I, I, well, I like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but I don't really count that as part of the original trilogy. Okay, I understand that. I, uh, no, no, I'm on the side of the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull that I enjoyed it. And a lot of people did not like that movie. I really liked it. Uh, I don't know what it is about a third movie and a good trilogy like that, just something special. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Speaking of Star Wars, shout out to our favorite listener. She has seen four and five. Why do you say she's our favorite listener? That's not she's fair. our best listener. Maybe she's the most listened to listener. Listened to listener. Abby Kingdon. I don't think you can say she's our favorite. We don't know all of our listeners. True. She's my favorite listener. Well, yeah. Well, so she's she's the only one dating. No, we're not. <laughs> she. That's right. They're just friends. We're just friends. They just talk all the time. But would someone please just tweet at Chris and tell him just to ask her out already? Oh my though? gosh, I can't believe you're just going like, here. Anyways, come on. So we should watch six, or we should only borrow six, one, two, and three. Well, six is the best. Yes. So she's missing out, and surprisingly, she liked it. Well, I shouldn't say surprisingly. I actually, liked it. actually, objectively, Empire Strikes Back is the best, but I just liked six better. So, I mean, you know, it's longer, isn't it? I don't really care that's long. It's a little longer. It's like not enough to make it a matter that's longer. Uh, I think objectively, Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars movie. Uh, but personally, I just like Return of the Jedi better. How many? I think that's fair. How many Star Wars merch do you have? How much do you have? Oh, too much. I, I can't even name it. Uh, I the one the one you wore last week. I have a lot of Star Wars shirts. I've probably mostly worn Star Wars shirts on the podcast without even trying. Um, I have. Star Wars Lego, Star Wars video games, Star Wars figures. Six, seven. There's... We have eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I, you know, um, Disney Infinity 3.0 is coming out this year. They're going to be Star Wars figures. And I, I don't know how I'm not going to buy them. I don't think we have room. Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying, Star Wars is a big deal for me, just like... Video games, Star Wars and video games are like the two things that for me I'm like, I, I, I don't know. You know, everyone's got that thing that they're into and it doesn't make any sense. And the older they get, you're like, okay, they're going to age out of this, but it like, gets, gets more and more and more. Mm. Yeah, that's how Star Wars and video games are. I'm ready. But The Force Awakens is going to be so good. And uh, if it's not, 
I I don't know. We'll still watch the the eighth and ninth episode. I yeah. I don't think Disney's too worried about people not watching. Definitely not. So. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's probably one of the strongest fan bases around. Easily. Easily. Easily beats out all the Trekkies. I can say that on the oh, air. Oh, definitely. It's so. Like, I can say that. Well, did you watch anything else? Because I did. No. I didn't watch any movies this week, I don't think. I no. watched yesterday. It is on Netflix. You watched Robocop? I watched Robocop. I see Robocop in there all the time. And uh, it's rated R, right? PG-13. No, it was PG-13. There is a, there's a couple of pieces. Um, I don't know why we haven't watched it. You need to. Just watch it tonight. I mean, well, there's a part that might make you sick, maybe a little bit, just because of how his body is. Well, it's Robocop. Yeah. Robo. So, no How is it compared to the original, though? I never saw the original. Oh, uh, so you don't even So, I really can't compare. So, I guess maybe that's why I'm biased that this was actually a pretty good movie. So, I'd probably give it a three and a half out of five. Whoa. Mm. High marks. High marks. So, would you say five out of ten? Six. Six out of ten. Technically, if you take three and a half times two... Three and a half and five, that's ten, so it's technically seven out of ten. Maybe push it, maybe six out of ten. Six out of ten is pretty good. That's a pretty good mark for me. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd give, you know, the Battle of Five Armies, you know, seven and a half out of ten. Mm, I probably would have put it at eight. You would? Yeah. I think so. Okay. We, we, we are going to have a billboard up here, we're going to mark down every movie, and we're going to make a check. I thought we were putting a TV up there. Well, I guess where's all this stuff coming? Well, from? we haven't gotten the TV yet, so we probably should put something back here. Where's all this? Out. Where's all these things coming from? I get one from work. Oh, okay. I get. I can get bored from work. We can just check them. Check them off. Definitely. All the movies coming out. Definitely, and we can mark what we like and what we didn't like. Well, Tomorrowland's coming up Friday. You gonna see that? No, I'm not gonna go out of my way to see it. I'm gonna see it. Probably not before the next week's podcast. No, but I, I am gonna see it. I mean, I'll probably see it, but I'm not gonna be. My goal this it. week is to see. Uh, Mad Max. You enjoy that because I don't want to see it. I respect that though. So, anyways, look, Chris, what do you think about getting out of here? Yeah, that's totally fine with me. I think we've been in here seventeen minutes in that's this half bad. of the show. That's not too bad. No, so let's go ahead and bounce on out. We'll play Truth or True or False next Truth week. Or We're not playing Truth or Dare. We'll play True weird. or False tomorrow next week. Okay, Chris. So where can we find you on the internet? Everywhere, single way, every every place I'm at, usually, every single time I everywhere say Everywhere you are. Everywhere I am. So you can find Chris everywhere he is. Hey, look, someone said something. Hey. Everywhere Chris is, you can find Chris on the internet. I am on Twitter. I'm at Never Lose Heart. Please, please mention me. Uh, just, just say, hey, I listen to the podcast. I'll follow you, man. That'll be kind of cool. Mention him because he needs it. I don't need it. But I like to converse. He likes friends. You know why? Because friends are the most important relationship. That's that's my saying right now in life. Friends are the most important relationship. You know why? Why is that? Because the best person to marry is a good friend. Anyways, I'm on Instagram at fight underscore with underscore. Attended heart. pictures of cute puppies holding hearts. Where did that come from? <laughs> he likes puppies. I do. I do. Except yours. My dog is just weird. It just pees everywhere. And I'm on Vine. I post some pretty good Vines as well. It's Fight With Heart. It's uh, all separated. Ready to go. I mean, you guys have a 15 add... summary of your love life. Six seconds. You can only post six oh, seconds. Vine only on Vine. six seconds. Mm-hmm. Six, seven seconds. Yeah. But That's you, short. you can do that. Add me. You can add me on Facebook. Just tell me you listen to the podcast. Kind of like how James says, you add me at Chris Garcia. It's going to be kind of hard. So it's Fight. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Whoa. Well, throwing that Facebook out there now. Facebook.com. He's getting desperate, folks. Forward slash. This way for you guys. Fight with heart, and that's with two T's, because apparently fight with heart is taken. Wait, is the fight with two T's or the heart with two T's? The heart is with two T's. That's th- that's important. That is important. I didn't realize. And of course, you can find me everywhere at James Walter, because I like to keep it simple for you. Basically, Twitter and Facebook. Because I don't do the Instagram. Or the you have the Instagram for the Weekly Flare. The Weekly Flare has an Instagram, and you can find the Weekly Flare everywhere: Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at the Weekly Flare. Find us on YouTube, The Weekly Flare Podcast. And of course, you could just go to our website, theweeklyflare.com, and everything's right there for your easy getting to pleasure. Definitely. Also, don't forget, if you guys, uh, if I get 10 people to uh, shout us out on either Facebook or Twitter or both, we will put you into a drawing to win a $15 or $20 card 
That's either a Google Play card or an iTunes card. Um, you can shout out, like I said, the podcast on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, yeah, just make sure you tag us so we actually tag us. see it. And uh, we'll get that out and we'll put a draw. We'll put you in a drawing. doesn't hurt. And I just shuffle it around in there in a hat and we'll pull your name. I would like 10 people at least. Um, so if you do that, we will pull. He wants 10 or he's not going to do it though. No, I'll just push it off until the next. You just can't keep pushing it until I'll, it's 10. I'll push it until it's 10. So um, do it. 15, 20. It might go up a, over time. But um, oh, wow. it's like a lottery over here. Definitely. So, shout us out, and we'll shout you out. Definitely, we will actually. And then we'll all just shout, shout, let it shout. all out. Oh my gosh! All right, let's get out of here. All right, guys, thank you. All right, we'll see you again in seven days. Peace.